I'm Jennifer Swanson. I'm the author of Brain Games, the mind-blowing science of your amazing brain by National Geographic Kids. You might have seen this on the TV show, which is back on now and so fun to watch. So if you aren't watching it, maybe you can ask your parents if they can turn it on for you, or you can watch it online. It's a really cool way to learn about your brain, but with games. So what I'm going to do is read you a little bit from my book, and then we're going to play a couple of my games. How does that sound? Awesome! So this is called Meet Your Brain. Your brain is the most powerful and complex supercomputer ever built. It's the one thing that makes you, you. Your brain is mission control for the rest of your body. It sits in the driver's seat and steers you through life. You can't do anything without your brain. It's your boss. It runs the show and gives commands to your body for everything that you do, even when you're asleep. Not bad for something about the size of a softball that looks like a wrinkled gray sponge. So fire up your neurons and hang on to your hippocampus. It's time to try some brain games on a rocket ride through Cerebral Superhighway! Woo! Okay, now let's play our first brain game. Are you ready to test your brain and see how it really works. Okay, so the first one is this one. We're going to take a look at this square right over here. What do you see? Right there. What do you tell me what you see? Okay. So, how many of you saw three circles. Anybody see three uh, Pac-Man looking things? Did you see two triangles? Maybe one upside down, one right side up? Or a star? Guess what? They're all right. Those are all the right answers. Because basically your brain will see whatever you have kind of stored in your memory. A lot of the things that we see and understand are stored in our memory, and our brain will look at it very quickly and make a decision. So everybody might have their brain work slightly differently, which is fine. That's great. That's what makes you, you, as I said. Okay, now we're going to try this one. Tell me how many, whoops, let's see, there we go. Tell me how many triangles you see in this picture. How many triangles? This is a tricky one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the easy ones. 10, 11, 12, 13. The answer is 13. Did anybody get 13? Awesome! Now, don't worry if you didn't get 13. That's okay, because the first time I did this, I didn't get 13 either. Okay, now this one, this next one is actually one of my absolute favorites. And you've seen this probably other places, not just in my books, maybe even on the Today Show. Which way, do I have to cover it up because the answer is down here. Which way is the bus going? Now, you have to assume that it's moving. It is moving. We're not going to argue with that it's not moving. Raise your hand if you think it's going this way, to the left. Raise your hand if you think it's going to the right. Okay, the answer is it is moving this way towards me. This way. This way. Okay, if I can get my thumb in the picture. There we go. It's moving this way, towards this way. Why is it moving that way? Well, because if it were moving to the right, there would be something right here. Oh, yes, the door. How do you get in? So this one is moving to the left. All right, who got that one wrong? Who got it right? Good for you. Um, don't feel bad if you got it wrong because I do. I, when I was first doing this presentation, I got it wrong a lot. I had to look because it gets you confused all backwards. Okay, so now we're going to do one more. This one is um, pretty cool. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, now you can't see me from here, but I want you to stand up and we're going to stand on one foot and I'm going to count to 10. 
So pick up, stand on your right foot, pick up your left foot, and count to 10. You can put your hands out if you want, but don't fall over. If you're going to get tippy, hang on to the desk or whatever is in front of you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, put your feet down. Now put your left foot on the floor and pick up your right foot. Only this time, close your eyes. I don't want to see any eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, you've fallen over. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, put your feet down. Now, did any of you almost fall over like me when you had your eyes closed? Okay, hopefully not. Um, so here's the question. Which is it easier to do? Is it easier to stand with your eyes open or with your eyes closed? I bet most of you, like me, thought it was easier to stand with your eyes open. Um, because if you put your hands behind your head, you feel those two bumps kind of low down here? That is called your cerebellum, and your cerebellum controls your balance, and it needs two things, your ears and your eyes. So if you close your eyes, your cerebellum has nothing to be able to tell it, hey, stand still, stand, you are, you are standing straight up, you shouldn't fall over, okay? Now, the last one I think is really fun. We need two fingers, so put both of your fingers up. One finger with your right, you could do with either one, but with your right finger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. Okay? I'm going to keep drawing a circle. With my left finger, I'm going to try and draw a straight line. Okay. What is happening as I'm trying to draw my straight line? Okay. You can see I can't do it. It looks like my line is going in a circle. I try to draw a line. It looks my, like my circle's going in a line. So it's two different directions here that don't work. Why doesn't it work? Because your brain has is split into two halves. And the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body, and the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body. And you're asking two different sides of your brain to do two different actions, and it doesn't always work. It's kind of like this, right, where you rub your tummy and pat your head, that works because you're doing two different actions with two different things. Okay, so I hope you had fun playing brain games. If you want, you can get the book online and do a bunch more brain game activities, or you can go to my website, jenniferswansonbooks.com, go to the teacher guide section, and there's a whole bunch of other games that you can play with this. And also, don't forget, Go to National Geographic and Google the um, Brain Games TV show because a lot of those are videos that you can do at home too. So I hope you have fun playing brain games and learning a little bit about how your brain works. Bye!